Hi. Good morning, everyone, friends. So, in this video, we are going to see about how while loop works and how do while works and how to use continue and break in while loop. Uh, we will discuss in this video. Let me create a new class here. I am naming it as a while example. Very simple, guys. You have observed it or not. In for loop and all, there is initialization will be there and increment operator also required. Okay. But whereas in while loop, we don't need any increment operator and all. Okay. Implicitly, it is not providing any increment increment or decrement you want to do it you need to do it explicitly like so the syntax is very simple while here you are going to use your uh, condition here for example i am taking int i equal to 1 okay here my condition is like i less than equal to 10 okay i less than equal to 10 and i want to print it okay i want to print my i Fine. See here. Do you think what is the output of this program? Usually, while will work until this condition falls. Until this condition falls, it is going to work. Loop it. Okay. Whenever this condition falls, then it will exit from the while loop. Okay. Until then, it is going to print all the statements. But see, there is no self increment or decrement operator in while loop. Whereas you want to increment or decrement, you need to do it explicitly. For example, I am doing I++. I am doing I++ here. So I am trying to increment the I value. Because there is no self-increment here. So you need to do it explicitly in while loop. But whereas in for loop, yeah, you can see here, you are providing in the, this is initialization, this is your condition, and this is your increment operator. But whereas in while loop, there is no initialization, no increment, only condition will be there until this condition falls, it is going to run. If I will run now, see what is the output. See, 1 to 10, it is printed successfully. Right? 1, 1, yeah, 1 to 10, it is printed successfully. Similar way, it will be there. Okay? So, <coughs> for example, I want to increment by two values then very simple i equal to i plus 2 you can give at a time it will increment by 2 now check the output Now check the output i equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. That's it. Every time it is incrementing by every time it is incrementing by two values. This way it will be there. For example, if I will remove this value, what will happen? Now tell me the output. There is no increment operator. Every time i equal to 1 only, then it will go to the infinite loop. You can observe carefully here. It will go to infinite loop now. See? Always one it is printing. It will go on. That is the dangerous with while loop. If you don't have the proper condition, then it will go into infinite loop. See, it is keep on print. Because there is no increment operator for i. i always one only. One less than equal to 10 always true. Then it will go to the infinite loop. Okay. So this way, while loop is going to work. For example, let me add one more condition here. If my i value equal to equal to 5 i want to exit from this loop how you can do that break else what you want to do else i want to print each and every value i want to print i value okay now tell me here what will happen even increment operator is not there here also let me add the increment operator fine so i equal to 1 1 less than equal to 10 true 
it will check this condition no then it will print that value and it will do the increment when i equal to 5 then it will break break means it will come out from the while loop so it means it will print only uh, till 1 to 5 1 to 4 okay why it is 5 is not printing uh, 4 less than equal to 10 4 it is printing okay i plus plus it is doing and then the condition again coming to here okay okay then 5 less than equal to 10 okay but 5 equal to equal to 5 then break okay 1 to 4 it is printing perfect okay break similar way instead break means it will come out from the while loop guys break means it will come out from the while loop similarly if i will give continue here then what will happen break means okay it is exiting so when i equal to equal to 5 continue then these two statements will not work then these two statements will not work okay again continue with the while loop then what is going to happen observe carefully okay so i is equal to 1 to 4 printed but what what happened here you have given what continue it will continue so it will continue the while loop and all it will continue the while loop then when i equal to 4 less than equal to 10 i equal to equal to 5 then it is stopped over there let me re-execute now Did you understand what is happening here? It is also going to the infinite loop, guys. How it is going to the infinite loop? Tell me. Because very simple. When i equal to equal to 5. Okay. When i equal to equal to 5. Continue you are doing. Increment operator is here. So every time the increment operator is here. Continue you are doing. i equal to 5 only. 5 equal to equal to 5. Then it is going into the infinity loop. Then to overcome that, what we need to do is very simple. Increment operator, let you add it here. Okay. Now, now what will happen? Except 5 value, it is going to print all other values from 1 to 10. Oh, 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 oh what? Oh. Okay. Let me stop it here. Uh, what is happening? I equal to equal to 5, it is not coming. Okay. Let me add it here only i plus plus you are doing okay uh, now here if it is coming here then just add this statement i equal to i plus one now check it out okay except five remaining all the values are printing because what is happening is see here uh, it will check for one less than equal to ten true this condition is false then it will print 1 and i plus plus. Now i value will is 2 until 5. 5 equal to equal to 5. Yes, condition is true. i equal to what you are doing. i value will become 6. And you are doing what? Continue. Continue to the while loop. These, these two statements will not work. Continue means again it will go to the loop. Okay, now i is equal to 6. 6 it will print and i plus plus and all. So that is the reason 5 is not printed because in this if condition you have not added any printing statement since you have used continue it will continue from here okay it will continue from the again the loop that is the difference between break and continue you want to exit use break you want to continue the loop irrespective of the below statements you want to continue then continue with the loop then you can use continue statement okay similar way we have another also do while loop also okay let me create another class here. Okay, see here, do while loop also, how it is working and all. Very simple guys. So while loop and do while loop both are same, but small difference is there. Small difference is here. Same condition I am adding while i less than equal to 10 I have added. Okay, so 
file i i value is not there so int i equal to 1 i have given okay do loop i am adding here in the do loop just i want to print it print my i value okay now tell me what is going to happen with this how it will work is first it will print it this one and it is going to check the condition later first it will execute all these statements and then check the condition irrespective of the condition true or false it will run it for example i am giving here i equal to 11 what will happen now tell me 11 will print or not but in this case in this case if i will give 11 it will not execute anything it will not print any value for us no output will get it but whereas in this case though you have given 11 but condition is false only but still 11 is going to print here check it out see 11 is printed successfully because before going to check the condition in do while loop it will print all these statements it will print all these statements and then it is going to check the condition whenever you want to execute your statements at least once before going to check the condition then you can use the do while loop or first you want to check the condition and then you want to execute your statements then you need to come for while loop one okay so this is about the uh, while and do while loops usually we will use okay um yeah so that's all for this video thank you